And we're live. Welcome to the 50th sprint review call of the common stack. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Uh, and I think the, the this week was really exciting, especially for me and Livia, because we went down to South America, Bogota. Uh, it was great. Uh, I gave a talk with uh, Carl Flersch, Kevin Owaki, Aaron, just like all the leaders in the, in the public goods space. Uh, and we got to talk about practical pluralism and the, the need for all of us to be working together to be building competitive systems in the public good space uh, so that we can be, uh, yeah, stronger together. Uh, also, uh, there was a really fun trusted seat picnic. Uh, lots of people ended up showing up. This is only the people who are there at the end for the final, final picture, but it was, uh, it was really fun. Thank you all for coming. And uh, of course, Livia and I had a good chance to talk with uh, with Angela and and Livia is actually just now leaving Colombia. That's why she can't be here. So she's on a plane right now, coming home. But she was uh, a juror in the Technology for Democracy Venture uh, Day in in uh, and hosted with Vitalik. So that was super cool. And she also gave a sweet talk over at a, a side stage of the Shelling Point called Funding the Commons, where uh, it was a talk that actually she was surprised by she thought it was only a workshop so that but she uh improv really well up there on stage and threw some slides together and uh talked about token utility and we had a whole workshop about like how do we bring demand to the tokens that we're issuing which is a critical piece of uh public goods future and then i also gave a talk uh called the biggest web3 opportunity that no one is talking about really discussing how all, all these public goods pieces, uh, all, the, all the different um, donation games and economic games that are being built in, in, the, in the Web3 space and how we can plug them all together. It was a really fun talk and I gave an uh, epic announcement for the common stack, but I'll let Tam actually, oh, maybe this side. I'll let Tam actually uh, produce, tell us the, the big announcement. Cool. Yeah. So uh, Griff did a big reveal in Bogota. Uh, and I'll just say a few more words about it, but not too much. And in just two weeks, so before the next sprint, uh, Common Stock will be announcing that we will be offering a service to communities who want to launch a commons. So using collaborative economics, which means having members of the community understand and decide on the parameters for the economy that uh, that they themselves will be uh, operating under, raising funds from trusted value aligned Web3 experts, deploying an augmented bonding curve, deploying conviction voting, and integrating rituals and practices that help build a commons culture. So uh, stay tuned for more about that. Uh, and if you are watching this and you want to know more or you're interested in having your community deploy a commons, reach out to Usama uh, or myself or hop onto our Discord and get in touch with any of us. And I'll pass to Christopher to tell us what's going on with Praise. Thanks. Uh, I'll share screen here quickly. And uh, the Praise team has been hard at work as always. Uh, did the screen share come through? Yeah. Uh, so what have we been up to? Um, in the media, sort of, me and uh, Mitch got in, invited to uh, uh, the excellent DAOcast hosted by T. Wells over uh, at uh, Gnosis. So we had a great discussion about the power of praise and bringing power, the power of praise into the digital world, etc. We'll post the, the link in the show notes so you can find that episode. Um, the TEC has uh, created a great video showcasing how to uh, how to quantify praise, what praise is about, what quantification is uh, quantification is about, how to set up periods and and how to distribute tokens. So the whole flow. Uh, we will post a link to that video as well. Uh, and what else? Uh, yeah, in the in the develop on the development side, we are working on a, a user a, a public facing user page uh, that will allow uh, you as a, a community user to to showcase your contributions you have made, uh, which would be a really great feature. And uh, deployments, we are doing a bunch of deployments currently. Uh, the Gnosis the, the deployment uh, is live. There will be doing their first. 
quantification fairly soon. Uh, the, the Giveth the deployment is going at full steam. They will also be doing their first quantification fairly soon, as long as uh, as soon as they have imported all their old uh, praise data, because they have been a long-term use uh, praise user. Uh, so we're, we're importing the, that data. Uh, Polygon is doing a really thorough work of uh, evaluating praise, and we hope that they will continue uh, start using it. And general magic also is now online using the new praise system. And in general, we will be looking to doing more of these community demos and, and hopefully a community um, installation. So if you, if you would like to have praise running for your community, please uh, ping us and contact us on, on, on Discord. Uh, thanks. I'll be um, passing to who's next. Sorry. I'm next. Cool. Thanks, Christopher. So I'll share my screen based on the work that I've been doing this couple of months. And what I've been working is in the target audience. Of course, we need to know who are we talking to. And this week, what we've done is I uh, presented this map that I created to condense all the info that I've been doing in this couple of months and also with the stakeholders interview perspective. So I built this map and during this, uh, this sprint, we went through this map working with the team that is basically presenting that to make it, the strategy a, bit, a little bit wider to create this marketing funnel uh, a little bit wider. So we have more people that uh, to, we will be able to help them in this web three common in transition, but to make it that we need to open the umbrella so we map a couple of things and with the team different including commoners so we need to speak more about commons then this transition from web 2 to web 3 finally and, and relating to the service that Tamara mentioned a couple of minutes before is to help these web 3 communities that want to get involved in the creation and maintenance of public goods and so this is a work in progress but it's been really insightful and that's it. I'll pass it to Ivy. Thanks, Emilia. Uh, let me share my screen. All right, is it showing? Um, okay, cool. So uh, uh, I bring news from uh, Trusted Seed. So uh, Trusted Seed recently launched the uh, Trusted Seed Unconference and is inviting all the DAO stewards to, uh, to join. Uh, this program is um, designed to bring all the uh, stewards in our ecosystem and, uh, and give them space to learn uh, new skills and uh, uh, connect with uh, other stewards. So um, the UnConference has an open agenda where the uh, participants can uh, propose a topic or lead an activity that uh, will be part of the whole program. And uh, it will run starting this month until, the, uh, until December this year. And uh, anyone can pick a date and time within that uh, period to uh, host their proposed event. So um, for those who haven't registered yet, I'll drop the link to the type form in the description uh, below uh, in this video. And uh, if you have questions, uh, you can reach out to me or uh, any of our gardeners, uh, Max, Hini, and uh, Maria. And in other news, um, Community Currencies Now returns with a brand new series on the uh, on the Common Stack YouTube channel. So uh, Community Currencies Alliance, uh, or CCA, uh, they highlight uh, leading community currency projects through a series of um, interviews with the uh, pioneers uh, in this space. So uh, in this um, first uh, episode, um, uh, Anton from CCA interviewed uh, Carla from, um, from Yatus uh, to learn more uh, about how this um, open, uh, open source platform uh, allows people to create uh, social currencies and uh, collaborative uh, businesses. So um, the previous season um, uh, of uh, Community Currencies Now uh, had nine episodes, uh, which were aired uh, last year in 2021. Uh, you can rewatch them uh, on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, we have a, a complete playlist for it. And um, we will be sharing fresh episodes in the, uh, in the coming weeks, so um, stay tuned. Uh, that's all from me, and I pass it back to you, Griff. Thanks, Ivy. Well, and now we get to our favorite part, praise. So uh, I'll, I'll kick it off. Uh, 
I want to I want to give major praise to Max and Maher for hosting the Trusted Seed Picnic. It was so fun, and they got really cool people to come in uh, from the local community to talk about their the local projects that could use a trusted seed in their own uh, in their own uh, to support them. Whether it's about selling coffee and uh, like really organic coffee, or also uh, supporting the uh, like local fashion industry. It was very cool. I also want to praise uh, Anna and Umberto for the incredible work they're doing with David Bollier through uh, Urbanica. Really cool project. And they've been really uh, getting it out there lately. And, and uh, I'm excited to see them road trip around uh, Central America to improve uh, commoning. And uh, I, I'll, I'll, oh, and of course, I want to give major praise to Olivia, who can't be here today. But she really did an incredible job representing the common stack at DEF CON. And I'll pass it to Tam. Awesome. I am ready. And I want to praise Mert for sharing a draft of an article that he's writing about economics and community currencies and, and commons. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I think it's going to be really nice once it's finished. Uh, I, don't, I want to praise Anton for his enthusiasm in producing the new, the series two of community currencies now, and praise Gus for uh, CCA and for the idea of launching the second series. I want to praise uh, Mikel for constantly checking in about the Grassroots Economics Commons Sinks, which are on pause this month, but will start again in November. I'd like to praise Lauren and Griff for their complimentary talks. I, I don't want to, I just scratched out the word matchy matchy, but I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway for their matchy matchy talks on a really serious subject, games, uh, economic games, money games. Uh, and I want to praise Gideon for his unflappable leadership navigating TEC through a large organizational transition and all of the TEC stewards for their constructive participation and advice process during this time. And uh, I also just want to praise Amelia because I'm really impressed with what she's producing. And um, I think that she's really helping us understand our own branding and how to tell our story better. So I will pass to Rachel. Thanks, Tom. Uh, I would like to praise um, Bunju and John from Gnosis for taking the front lead with praise in Gnosis and really coordinating the validator community towards achieving the goals they set for praise. I would also like to praise uh, Franco and uh, Jelly Royal and Christopher as well for their hard work and efforts in uploading the praise backlog for Gibet so that um, we can get started with quantifications and distribute pending rewards. Uh, that's it for me. I'll pass it to Amelia. Thank you, Rachel. Um, first, I would like to praise you, Rachel, for your feedback on my research related to commons. You were really helpful. Also, I would like to praise Grief, Tamara, Olivia, and Ivy, and Rachel for giving me her their time in during this uh, target audience uh, mapping. That was super insightful. And that's it for me. And also for Frischel, to, I wanna praise Frischel for helping me so patiently with my trace. I will pass it to Usama. Thanks, thanks, Emilia. Uh, yeah, I want to first of all, I want to praise Livia uh, for representing Common Stack at DevCon at, at and at uh, Shelling Point. Uh, I want to praise uh, Yini, Ivy, and Maria for arranging uh, Trusted Seed Uncrown from CMA. I want to praise uh, Livia for reviewing uh, the visual graphic for our deployments. I want to praise uh, Max for pushing forward the Trusted Seed, and uh, he's he's working great uh, for Trusted Seed. Uh, I want to praise Anton and uh, Carla for highlighting uh, the leading projects within community currency in our CS cross uh, CSA series. So yeah, uh, with that, I will pass to Ivy. Uh, thanks, Susanna. Uh, I want to praise Max uh, for hosting the Unconference AMA. I want to praise uh, Max, Sina, and Maria for the work that they do behind the scenes of the Unconference. I want to praise Anton and Gus for bringing back the uh, Community Currencies Now series. And uh, lastly, I want to praise Anna Marie for uh, being featured in the uh, Humans of Trusted campaign and uh, sharing her uh, background and uh, story with, uh, with us and our community. That's it for me. I pass it to Christopher. Thanks, and uh, I have a slight overlap with Rachel's praise here. So I would like to uh, praise Franco uh, for pu pulling such a big load over at Giveth, cleaning all the praise data, uh, all the old praise data. 
and importing that. And I'd like to praise Tex and John Agnosis for doing such a great job of getting praise on, online over there. Uh, I'd like to uh, praise Ms. Fitan and, and the Polygon security team for, for doing such a thorough work, uh, evalu evaluating praise, finding vulnerabilities, and uh, giving us feedback. Uh, I'd like to praise T. Wells for being such a great uh, talk show host, uh, welcoming, us, uh, welcoming us to the Gnosis Dowcast. And I'd like to praise Viv and Mo for setting up praise for General Magic. That's it. I'll pass it back to Mitt, uh, to uh, the group. I think that's it, uh, right? Uh, we got everyone. So thank you all for coming to uh, our 50th review call. I think we got another 50 in store for you. Uh, I can't wait till the 100th. Uh, see you all.